North Korea on Tuesday reportedly conducted a huge live fire drill that involved up to 400 artillery pieces, which may have been supervised by the country's leader, Kim Jong-un. South Korea's Yonhap News Agency, citing an unnamed government source, reported that Pyongyang appeared to have deployed a number of long-range artillery units in the region of Wonsan, which is a coastal North Korean area. South Korea's military did not confirm the report, but told the news outlet that it is firmly maintaining readiness. There was speculation that the North might carry out another nuclear or missile test. News of the live fire drill comes after the USS Michigan, a nuclear-powered Ohio-class submarine, pulled into the South Korean port of Busan for a hull check. The Ohio-class submarine will later join the USS Vincent Aircraft Carrier Strike Group for exercises in the Sea of Japan, according to senior U.S. defense officials. The USS Vincent Aircraft Carrier Strike Group is in the Philippine Sea, in waters south of Japan. When asked about the USS Michigan, Lt. Commander Matt Knight with U.S. Pacific Fleet, told Fox News in a statement the submarine was on routine deployment. U.S. Navy ships and submarines routinely make port calls in a variety of locations, Knight said. As a matter of routine, we do not discuss future operations or the details regarding the operations of our submarines. USS Michigan is currently on a routine deployment to the Indo-Asia Pacific. Meanwhile, the entire U.S. Senate has been invited to the White House for a briefing on Wednesday about the North Korea situation. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer confirmed the upcoming briefing for all 100 senators. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Jen. Joseph Dunford and Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats plan to provide the update to lawmakers. It is rare for the entire Senate to be invited to such a briefing. South Korea's Defense Ministry has said the North appears ready to conduct such strategic provocations at any time. South Korean acting Prime Minister Wang Kyo-an has instructed his military to strengthen its immediate response posture in case North Korea does something significant on the April 25th anniversary of its military. North Korea often marks significant dates by displaying military capability. On Monday, Trump also had lunch with ambassadors of countries on the UN Security Council. Ahead of the meeting, Trump called for big reforms at the UN and criticizing its handling of recent events in Syria and North Korea, but said it has tremendous potential. You just don't see the United Nations like solving conflicts. I think that's going to start happening now, he said.